On Monday morning, Monday is the clinic day where we see all the patients and there may be 500 patients waiting for us there. And they're all different kinds of problems. We see children with burns, the scars from burns. We see a lot of cleft lip palates. We see multiple fingers. Children born with deformities, kids, kids with crossed eyes. It seemed like there was a great need back in 1988 when we started this, and I think the need is the same now. The poorer uh, Mexican towns and villages uh, have very little access to medical care. Some of these people don't have enough money to pay for their food. They can't afford a surgery. One of the mothers said to me, all we can do is pray for a miracle. So we try to be the miracle. <laughs> in Mexico, they have some of the finest physicians in the world, but they're in the major cities and the big, big towns. We've had families come in from the mountains that they've had across rivers, walking for hours or days. Well, I had a patient who, whose family walked for two and a half days to get to the hospital. Many of the parents, like parents everywhere, would do anything to help their kids. And this, these kids are ostracized because they look different from everyone else. Uh, they get bullied, they get called bad names. We had one little boy who had a hairy nevus on his face. It was like a black piece of fur. And he had scars on the top of his head from where the other kids threw rocks at him and teased him and told him he was the devil. I was talking to a young girl who was 12 who stopped going to school because she was being bullied. And she's, uh, she has estrabismus, her eyes, crossed eyes. Cross eyes are probably the most ostracized, bullied kids in society in Mexico. Some kids play with me. Other kids call me names. And they don't want to play with me. We have a very speedy eye surgeon. Uh, he himself will do probably on the order of 50 children a day. Our bilateral eye muscle surgeries take roughly three or four minutes to do. When you put in anesthesia time and um, just getting the patients ready, it's 10 minutes. So for 10 minutes of our time, we can change somebody's life entirely. I put trust in God that things will be better for her, for her studies. She'll be attending middle school, and I hope she won't be bullied anymore, because her eyes will be fixed, and her vision will be good. How does it feel to change the lives of these kids? It's awesome. It's the best thing ever. We've done almost 14,000 surgeries, and you can definitely say, I mean, we've seen it, I want to say easily, but pretty much. You know, a 50-minute surgery can, can change somebody's life, you know. Can make a child's life, you can give him an 80-year benefit from the, one of these procedures. And it, it changes everything for them. I have no words to thank you for what you're doing for these kids, and especially for my daughter. Thank you, and God bless you a thousand times. You know, it's great to see these children in the recovery area with their eyes straight and the parents so happy and everybody realizing that, you know, it's a new day for them and it's the start of the rest of their lives. And we most, we did that. It's pretty cool.